happened with in Aboriginal affairs then with Pastor Doug Nichols and a lot of other people. And we start, the, a group started in Geelong and we became part of that. And then one of the things that a group of us that were in the Advancement League, because so few children, Aboriginal children were getting an education or going to school, um, a lot of them were in orphanages in Geelong and Ballarat, and we decided to have a holiday scheme for these children. And that became a big part of our life, really. Each week we have a different topic and, or a different personality. And what's tended to happen is that uh, each program seems to give birth to another. And they said, we've got to have the history of West Geelong, it'll get lost. And so that's when I, I was at that meeting and I said, well, maybe I could do a program every week. It just never stopped. There were all these amazing people and especially people talking about their parents. There's a lot of history in there about how people came to live in Geelong. You know, that, you know, every, everyone had a story. It was, it was amazing, really. And Col had just retired, so I'd set him up at home so that every time if I was teaching someone on a program or if I was panelling for the program or, or I was doing my own program, he would record it. And then I had this, I think, oh, about four, five hundred little CDs <laughs> with hundreds of interviews on. It was a big job, really, having to go through every CD and pick out the special bit and edit. And, one of the most important parts of what I do is to do with the Aboriginal community because of Dave. Because I had so many photographs of uh, Aboriginal people, I felt that they should be preserved and we got a grant for that. And so they, they were all, um, they've all gone to IATSIS, which is the Commonwealth one, because a lot of the Aboriginal people you meet, they've got links with other states, you know, Western Australia, Northern Territory, whatever. And so we had that sent to our access and the Aborigines Advancement League in Geelong got a copy of them all. But that's something I want to deal with because I've got a box here in my house with that, with the names of the all those Aboriginal children that I've got photos of because I've got another very big photo with... I think there's about 12 or 13 young Aboriginal people in that film. And I showed it to, uh, I think last year, I showed it to one of my friends at the Advancement League, at the Koori Heritage Trust. I said, is this your mum? And she didn't know whether it was her mother or not. And uh, I thought, that's sad. So I've... And I still uh, am working on that, trying to get names for all that children in the photo. But I know now that um, I've, that's still on the list for me to do. <laughs>